Namo Namaha and welcome back. Now let's turn to our fourth class of stops, which are called the dentals. This is the dantyas in Sanskrit, the ta varga for simplicity.、Uh, they're made by touching the tongue on the top edge of the teeth. Here again, there's just one little trick. We should be careful not to let the tongue go back towards the gums at all.、Uh, that's where actually North American T's and D's are pronounced、uh, between the gum and the teeth.、Uh, and to Indian ears, that actually sounds like the retroflex, the T and D, which is further back.、Uh, so you should spend a little extra time making sure you can differentiate between T and D, then and also D and Duh.、Uh, these are. It's better to.、Uh, the better you get in making the difference between these two sounds, the better your pronunciation is going to sound to people in India. Duh, <laughs>、uh, duh, duh, duh.、Okay? Keep practicing. Duh, 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 duh. Anyway, those are.、Uh, h- h- let's let's look at the dentals. The first is unvoiced, unaspirated. That means there's no vibration in the voice box. No puff of air that comes out. The stops can be made by touching your tongue to the tip of your teeth. Da, try it. Da. Basically, you have to stick out your tongue. Don't be shy about it. You can exaggerate it. It's fine. Da, da. Maybe that was a bit too exaggerated.、Uh, you gotta be careful. Like I said, because the English T has that aspiration to it a little bit, a kind of retroflexion as well.、Uh, like. Top or T Teletubbies, right?、Uh, in Sanskrit, it's going to be Tapa T Teletubbies. <laughs> Maybe、uh, so、spend some time unlearning the Western T, the dental, and make it a Sanskrit T dental, and you'll be fine. The second stop of the class is unas unvoiced, but now with aspiration. So you have to take T, you add a puff of air, you get T. Again, make sure your tongue is touching the tip of your teeth. Stick out your tongue. Tuh. Third, we have a stop that's voiced but unaspirated. So it's duh. Here it's you have to be very careful again with the t. The English pronunciation of the letter d tends to add frication to it.、Uh, it's pronounced a bit more retroflex. It goes back to the alveolar. Dip door donor. In Sanskrit, we have deepa dwara dana. Make, make sure to practice those pure dental sounds. The fourth stop is going to be both voiced and aspirated, so there's vibration and a puff of air.、Uh, and again, the stop, the stop is made by the tongue on the tips of the teeth. So, duh, it's actually in my name, Adisha. Duh.、Uh, again, as long as you don't have your,、uh, as long as you do have your tongue sticking out, you won't mispronounce、uh, the letter. Duh. Finally, a very easy one is the dental nasal n. Stick out your tongue, touch the tip of your teeth, make your nasal sound n. Great. So practice this class. The dentals are、uh, um, maybe a bit easier than retroflexes. Check out the vocabulary on the UBC Sanskrit site.、Uh, be sure to review all of the other classes as well. The varugas. When you're ready, when you feel like you've mastered the. Dentals. Then we can turn to the final class of stops, the labials, or pa varuga. Unarmilamaha, dhanyavadaha.